rotational. Okay, hang on that for a second. Let's turn him over. So, position on the stagnant, right? Yeah. Are you okay? Are you okay? He's uncomfortable. So what do they kind of tell you? Like it's a positional thing, right? Yeah. So I think he's got something going on in his head. So um, I'll roar back to the clinic and get some vitamin B1 and we'll try that. We'll give that IV and give that a crack rather than dogging him. Just... There's a little bit of heat in that scrotum, but I don't think anything excessive. We'll get it back. I was gonna from, from this from the presentation over the phone. I was thinking this could be an animal that um, we were gonna euthanize and take samples to try to rule out something nasty. But I would suggest that maybe it's just the, the grass and, the, and the, the sort of feed he's on. He's um the, his rumen microflora produces thiaminase, which eats up thiamin, and then they they go into this Brainer syndrome. So I think we should try. To treat him. I think we should get some time and some ox cam, all things good. Maybe even, maybe even treat him with some, some electrolytes, just give him a whole, whole bunch of good stuff. Let's see if we can happen. Because if he went down because of infection, what would his temperature be? A lot higher than that. Yeah, yeah, 100%. And so to me, he's like a stargazer, and I reckon the thing out here. No, come on. So it's a, a mil per 40. What do you reckon he weighs? Um, I reckon uh, that's a reasonable guess. Um, I'd probably put him more like in the 250 range, but um, okay. which is, but I mean, heck, yep. So, um, six, 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 six or seven mils. yeah, let's do it. So, uh, we want to let's give him seven mils of meloxicam. So, let's grab, a, let's grab a 10 mil syringe. There we go. Just under the skin. Lovely anti inflammatory. And then we'll shoot. We'll go shoot and grab some vitamin B1 for this fella. But have a look at that eye. See how it's bouncy? The the, the actual eyeball itself in the eye. Now it's rotating. I reckon that's what we got going on. I thought when he called me that it was opisthotinus. Remember the term opisthotinus, which is yeah. the uh, rigid extension of the, the limbs and the head yeah. pulled back. Well, he's he's trying to retract those legs when we mess with him. Yeah. I reckon he's vitamin B1 or, or thiamine deficiency. So what do you called... think, Michaela? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like Michaela because she always we... agrees with me. <laughs> Am I cool? Yeah. Oh, isn't it awesome? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not cool. Nah, not even remotely. <laughs> really sick. All right, so then we'll give him some antibiotics too. So that's a meal for 10. So how much of that do we want to give? Let's go 28. So we can give you a full swing to that. Um, rubbish bin is on the other side. We'll put it there for now. Hey, if you want, we can use that one for the... Do you want it? Oh, that one will do the 25, yeah. Um, so I've already... Pierce the top of this so you can look straight up with the syringe. Oh, okay. Grab some 26, 26 mils of that. Yeah. And then I'll get you a bigger needle for for going into the muscle. So it's at your muscle. So it's a, it's a 16 gauge. I'm telling you how this veterinarian is trying to a long line of veterinarians. Thanks. And coming to work for us in January. It's going to be awesome. Along with our partner, Alex. Who's also awesome. It's your official intro. It's gonna be awesome. So yeah, just in the in the in the neck muscle for the for the alamycin and in subcutaneously somewhere in the neck as well. And then we'll go get some B1 for this fella. So annoying, I went and picked it up off the shelf. 
and then started talking to Ruben about the, the field day last night. Oh, uh, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Son of a gun. So we'll give that vitamin B1 IV and we'll give a big lump of it. Yeah. And then hypothetically he'll be up within 10 or 15 minutes so we'll be able to call him back and see how we went. Cool. If it passes away we'll do a post-mortem. Yeah. Um, but we'll give it all things good. I think With the I B1, think fun, yeah. do you give it IV and then subcut as well? Um, I just generally give a big lump IV yeah. um, if I can. But if it's a, if it's a producer yeah. I just have to give it the SMB taking surgery. That's a good, good question though. But I think, it, remarkably, if you get them enough B1 to get them up, they don't seem to have a relapse. Right. Yeah, it's rad. Okay, well, there we go. How is it? So yeah, so we got our um, vitamin B1. We're, we're suspecting that the microflora, so the bugs that live in his guts, as he's transitioned, because he closely eaten up north? Uh, sticks. Mostly sticks. <laughs> sticks and mulga. Sticks and mulga. <laughs> so, mulga's my mate. And uh, let's come down here, and if you look at this, lovely ryegrass. Um, other bits and pieces there's some some natural legumes there and things like that it probably just his guts have gone whoa this stuff's crazy and the bugs have changed and one of the bugs we're thinking one of the bugs that's changed is is called a thiamin ace which means it eats thiamin so we're going to give him vitamin b1 which is thiamin so we're going to give him some iv and then my good friend tony recommends we give some also uh, so he's on this side so i'm just gonna hold up his jugular right there you just put your hand in the jugular groove and then you can bounce the you can bounce the vein. See that vein right there? You yeah. can feel it under your thumb? Yeah. Oh mate, he's got big ears. Better to hear you with my friend. So we know we're in the jugular. I just kind of keep it distended. You can pull back every now and again. See how I'm pulling back to see the flash in the syringe? There you go, bud. Now up the, and we're also going to give some sub-Q. It's already working. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to take a little bit of time. So it's going to go in and replenish all that fine in the brain. Come down just south of the Yeah. Yeah, I originally think. It's But um, it's kind of like the last thing we look into. They, they do tend to die pretty quick. So. Uh, they got really big dilated pupils. Pupil looks pretty normal. Hey buddy, I'm just gonna give you some under the skin. We've already given him some antibiotics, that's what that one's from. Try to camp them on their left hand side because that's where the rumen's at. If they get flipped over on that side, they, they tend to bloat. That's good information, yeah. Oh, buddy. There you go. Oh, you're not feeling good at all, are you? Let's try just sitting there. I know you feel funny about it, but let's try it. Time. So antibiotics, anti-inflammatories, just to cover in case that the castration site's got any, anything to do with it. Let's wait for this vitamin B1 to, to do something. This, I mean, he's not super dehydrated or anything. Well, you just found him today, hey? Yeah, he was wandering around here earlier and the boys were being cut off silage. He just come out in front of the guys coming back and then his head up in the air and then fell over the Almost acted like he was blind even? Yeah, yep, yep, I'd say as much. Happy he didn't hear and not out on the other side of the paddock where he couldn't see. Yeah. 
See that nystagmus on him there? When I first pulled him up, I pulled yeah. him up again, ready? Here you go, bud. Oh, you're okay. See how that eye is bouncing? Yeah. Did you raise him or did you buy these? He's a good looking calf. Yeah. Yep. But I reckon we give that a crack, brother. And um, yeah, by, by the time the sun goes down, hopefully he'll be sitting up. Yep. And um, yeah, if he does pass on, we'll we'll uh, we'll collect a range of samples off of him. And um, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully. Yeah. Well, he's a beautiful animal. Yeah. Nice. They are very well promised. All right. So the uh, so we made Harry he sent me a photo of the next day of the steer. There you go. Hello, buddy.